Hi and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're covering everything that's coming up in the get together, which is on Sunday, April the 23rd in West London at the Pits. So if you've booked your tickets already, if you want to watch this video, I'll go over a lot more detail of how the day will flow. Also, if you're on the fence and you're thinking of coming, it's worth watching this video as I'll explain a lot more about the day. Doors open 9.30 a.m. on April the 23rd, which is Sunday, which is just under two weeks away. So the plan is you'll get checked in as soon as you arrive. Then we have a list of all the slots available throughout the day. Now the plan is that we will chop up into 30 minute increments and run a certain genre of car inside that 30 minutes. Now it's only a rough guideline. Now the reason we have it in the first place at all is that what we don't want is a very valuable vintage car running right next to something that's really, really fast or something big like a monster truck. So we've chopped it into actual slots, which I'll cover in a little bit. Also, uh, everybody that's signed up for tickets, I will email over this document so you'll actually have it with loads of information on the day as well but you know it's a guide we're not sort of set in stone things will change so the idea is you'll meet us at um, 9 30 we'll be there a little bit earlier then you'll check in get your badge then you'll find a space available if you've got a fold-out table and chairs definitely worth bringing it especially if you want to show off some of your rc cars and you need quite a bit of space. Now, uh, the pits has quite a few big rooms at the back and upstairs from the actual track. So we were setting up up there. So um, the idea is to really show off all your nice stuff. Also, there's a competition as well. So if you've got fold out chairs and tables, definitely bring them because it will make life easier to have a bit more space for yourself. But the rooms are large enough that we can easily fill them up. There will be a shelf queen competition, so you can put your name down for that. And then what I'll do is I'll go around and I'll ask a bit of, a bit of information about each car, and then we'll do some judging, and then we'll give out some prizes as a bit of fun. To book a slot, the idea is that I'll have a big printout there of all the slots available, which is what you'll see here and I've set out the genres. Now the idea is that you can just whack your name down so that when that 30 minute stint opens, you can come down and then you can drive. The idea really is so that we ha we don't have a very busy slot and a very dead slot. Once I start seeing people filling out their names, I'll know if there's a really quiet slot or there's a really popular one and I can also change things around to really optimize our time on the track. Once you finish driving, say you drive your car for 10 minutes, then after you finish driving go and then marshal for the same period of time now from 9 30 when the doors open the track will be open at the beginning now this worked really well last time as what i don't want is everybody just piling in at 9 30 don't worry you don't have to be there at 9 30 on the dot or before but what i'll do is as I, people come in we will get you booked in and everything so don't panic about being there dead on otherwise you just got to stand in the queue while we check you all in anyway so then you'll go off set up and then people will be coming in because you get a lanyard and we also have to ask you a few questions about being on camera and all that kind of stuff um so we get that out of the way nice and early so people that come in straight away they can set up and they might want to jump on the track for a little bit of driving while other people are coming in instead of everybody just hanging around for the last people to join it just flows better and then once we get to 9 55 the track will be closed and then i'll do a little welcome go through a few little health and safety bits and pieces and then the track opens again at 10 a.m uh, it will open and that's the first class to go which i'll put up here all the classes 
And then there will be a raffle as well. We've got a sponsorship from uh, Rochester RC. Rochester RC are going to be coming to the track. So uh, they've got a few bits and pieces that we can raffle off and give away as prizes. I've been collecting a few bits and pieces in the background. And the idea is it's not to take it too seriously. It's going to be a bit of fun. So we, last time we did like best crash, best driver, all that kind of stuff. It's just a bit of fun as well as uh, you could enter the raffle to win some uh, RC prizes as well. That will all be explained more in detail on the day. At 12.30 we'll do an RC Q&A session as well. So if you're, you're not on the track and you want to come and join me, we can have a Q&A just chew, uh, chewing the fat of RC for like 40 minutes, talking about all kinds of bits and pieces, whether you've got any questions about the YouTube side of things, RC, what your opinions on different bits and pieces. We can basically just free flow it as well. So that'll be going on off track at the same time. So as for food, a lot of people have been asking about this. You can bring a pat lunch if you will, if you want, but obviously don't eat it around the track you can get to the local Sainsbury's uh, supermarket that's just down the road it's only three minutes drive or 30 minute walk if you're feeling energetic also there's a McDonald's eight minute drive away so you've got a few options there if you you know want to get something at any point you can just jump in the car drive three minutes to the local Sainsbury's someone also asked about scales really it's one tenth one twelfth the track is not massive so don't bring an X max for instance because that's just never going to work now the idea is that we will do a vintage fragile period as well so if you want to bring something that you want to potter around with to actually experience driving it but you're worried that you might get it damaged we will do a whole period where there's a lot less drivers on the track and you can actually experience a car that's very fragile and you don't have to worry about people smashing into you so we'll do that as well if you've got a new racing buggy vintage or new you'll be able to run those you can bring your new stuff as well if you want to run your latest and greatest and you just want to get some track time you there will be that there as well i plan on bringing a whole range i'll bring my cougar i'll bring a tto2 stock i'll probably bring my srx and a few other buggies four wheel drive and two wheel drive the idea is that you'll be able to experience everything i'll even bring some pan cars if you've got formula one cars and pan cars stuff that needs really smooth um uh, track this is perfect for that as well and you can really get some time in with them so i think that pretty much covers everything so if you're interested in coming i'll put all the information below where you can buy a ticket there is still some tickets available but i wouldn't hang around as we're getting close to being at our maximum capacity so thanks very much and i look forward to seeing you in the next two weeks well less than two weeks now see you soon Bye bye